Great Lakes steelhead have a pretty wide and varied diet. And a lot of people don't realize that it actually varies a good bit depending on the season. So these are five flies that I'd feel really confident with anywhere on the Great Lakes. And between these, you'll always be covered no matter what the season. First has got to be an egg. This is the Daphnia egg. We've done really, really well on these. Steelhead feed a lot on salmon eggs as they're laying their eggs in the fall, and then both their own uh, steelhead eggs and sucker eggs in the spring. So definitely worth having on your uh, two kind of bookends of the steelhead season. Second has got to be a worm, and the squirmy worm never misses. Uh, really, really effective. While there aren't always a ton of worms in the river uh, that time of year through the winter, uh, this thing really gets noticed in higher water. It's a must-have. The white death jig is a great little bait fish pattern or a flesh imitation as in a small chunk of flesh drifting off of a dead salmon. Um, these guys can be uh, swung, they can be stripped, they can uh, be jigged or put under an indicator. Always a really, really good bet. Stoneflies. So when the eggs are less uh, available to those fish, i.e. after the, the salmon are done spawning, uh, those fish are going to see less eggs and they're going to start feeding more heavily on natural bug life. So stoneflies like the Kaufman stone that I have here, really, really good. Also offers a nice big profile in dirty water. Must have. And finally, a streamer. In this case, a little uh, bruiser steelhead zonker. This is a really versatile fly where you can swing it or strip it really nicely, uh, depending on water temperature. The black and blue or the purple colors, both great. They profile well, but they're still natural enough that you can uh, fish them in clear water too. So all really good bets. If you have a box with a few of these, you'll be well set for any day.